time for our latest in the series, Heroes Among Us, and a story that touched all of us here in the newsroom. Yeah, LAX 18 photojournalist Lindsay Smart and I spent the morning in Paris with this very special man. As Lindsay said later, imagine having 100 years of memories to share. Now, allow me to say this. When LAX hired me to join my sweet friend Nancy here every <laughs> evening, I became the first black male lead anchor of a TV station in Kentucky history. And we all stand very proud of our commitment to diversity and doing all we can to make sure that we include many different viewpoints. Points. I personally thanked Albert West Sr. for his life of overcoming, of sacrifice, and of commitment that has cleared the way for so many of us, myself included, to rise just a bit higher. How do you tell 100 years worth of stories? Well, one at a time. After my mother died, my, my father put my sister in the Orphan's home on Joyce. I went down in a woman's yard and stole one of her chickens. You know how much you pay? Fifteen dollars a week room and board. Get out of that. Albert West Sr. had a tough start in life. Orphaned as a young boy, he was forced to scuffle for years while attending school until he got a letter in 1943 on his 20th birthday. Greetings, greetings, and yes. Yeah. You have been selected at such and such a point to be at such and such a day on such and such a date, period. Be there. Wes was drafted into the Army, where racism awaited. First, while working at a guard post at Fort Lee, Virginia, where black soldiers were not trusted with ammunition. Standing on a guard post at night with a rifle with no bullets. And later in Mississippi, accused of speeding by a racist cop while on a mail run for the army. He came up to me and he took, took the pistol and slapped me upside the head. Yeah, slapped me you back something. Yeah. I would have blow your brains out. But Wes overcame it all and served our nation in France during World War II, a stretch in which he noticed a change. When we got ready to get discharged, yeah, you from Pennsylvania, he's from Florida, and I'm from Kentucky. All of us had, had grown together and worked together, and we had blended together as brothers. Decades later, Wes remains proud of his service. He later worked at the old Lexington Army Depot in Avon for 32 years. He's been a Mason for more than half a century and still sings in his church choir and attends as many veterans functions as he can, always showing up in a crisply ironed shirt using the skills he learned as a young boy. This Lexington native and now Paris resident standing as a beacon in his community, a true Kentucky hero who will be the center of attention next month at a party celebrating his 100th birthday. You, you can't look back on hard things unless you've been there. But, but to have been there and survived survive them, I, it's just great. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. Yeah. Can you tell I love doing these stories? I love him. <laughs> I love him. That was great. He was so awesome. Okay, if you want to wish him a happy 100th birthday, you can send letters to Kelly Oakley, attention Albert West, 106 Bruner Drive, Wilmore, Kentucky. Here's the address on your screen, zip code 40390. If you send a card, get it there by April 14th. We plan on putting that address for you on our website a bit later. Oh.